Hello and welcome to my Twitch channel. I'm Greg Seward. I stream three nights a week. Join me as we dive into my huge game collection to uncover hidden gems, replay the hits, and have a great time with our fun, friendly community. Oh, yeah, that's right. Three nights a week, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Come hang out for some old games, some friendly chat, and to raise money for the IWK Children's Hospital through Extra Life. It's taking out mages like crazy. Look at that. And if you can't tune in live, stream archives are uploaded the next day on my YouTube channel. Hope to see you in the chat. So close. Yes. Good evening and welcome to Adventure Night, where we're playing Less Manly in Search for the King. Wow, that was really loud. This microphone's really loud. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, let me know if that's too loud, because it's it's really peaking, I'm noticing. <clears throat> anyway, um, oh god, it just did it again. Hang on. I'll drop this down a little bit. There we go. Okay. Hey, Tommy, Keenad, welcome. Um, yeah, so it's Adventure Night. We're playing uh, Less Manly in Search for the King. I really don't know what to expect with this game. Hey, Scoop Joey, thank you so much. Um... I don't know what to expect with this game. My understanding, my my very limited understanding of it is that it's basically like Leisure Suit Larry. Uh, thanks, Gaijin. And I mean, hello, Gaijin. Um, it's like Leisure Suit, it's like racy like Leisure Suit Larry, I guess, but uh, I don't know if it's any good. I've heard, I've read mixed reviews. I haven't, I haven't heard mixed reviews. I've read, I've read Rick's, Rick's reviews. take that anyway all right let's uh yeah like leisure suit larry can't be that bad we'll see uh okay so let's fire this bad boy up go to the right screen here we're gonna use the dark mode so that if uh anything uh untoward happens in the game i don't have an extra life logo all slapped all over it Hopefully you can hear that. Somebody better think of a way to increase this network's ratings or you'll all be out on the streets. Ooh, hello. Didn't want to do that at all. The greatest promo in the history of broadcasting. A national contest, one million to anyone who can find the king. Hmm, we'll get all the publicity, but we'll never have to pay. All right, but this had better be good. Roll the spot. What's wrong with the tape? Is this somebody's idea of a joke? Just a minor technical problem, JB. Stella, get Lunkhead up here to fix this now. Steve was here. Hey Les, could you come up for a, to the boardroom for a sec? The suits can't figure out how to work the VCR. It's running a little fast. I bet I could find the king if I really tried. You can barely find your way to work. Now quit interrupting and get out of here. Gee, this could be my big chance. I'll go find him on my lunch break. I like that those hell responsible. Sorry. I always have to look this up. I never remember how to slow down the emulation in DOSBox. Control F11. Just 
just slow it down a smidge here. struggling. <coughs> I think I can just... Okay, so first of all, let's figure out how we save, since we're going to need to know how to do that eventually. It's usually F5 or F4, no... Alt something, F1. Oh, something just happened. There we go. All right, all right. So we're gonna walk to the table. I am absolutely using a walkthrough, of course. Whoa, does he ever move fast? We're gonna slow this down a little bit more. Okay, uh, look, table. Like your life, your desk is a mess. Let's move that pointer out of the way. Uh, let's open the drawer. Inside the drawer are a thermos and a lunch bag. Got the thermos. Okay, let's try this again. Taken. moves so fast. Like, he's moving really fast. There we go. That's a little better. Music's a little annoying. Oh. Um, Phil Thermos. Phil Thermos with water. Isn't Thermos a, a brand name? Yeah, less of the unlikely prequel. Gee, I'm glad I remember that I almost forgot to fill my thermos today. Close thermos. All right. All right, let's see. Look, door. A little sign on the door. Oh, okay, you're not going to tell me what it says? Authorized personnel only. This, of course, does not include you. This frame rate is freaking me out, man. Like, we're dropping frames like crazy. Can't even get through the door. There we go. You recognize your boss, but you're not sure if he recognizes you. After all, he's got more important things to do than worry about what goes on in his department.
ask for raise. Said to Mr. Birnbaum, uh, excuse me, Mr. Birnbaum. Who the hell are you? It's me, sir, Les Manley. I've been working here for two years now. Oh, sure, Fess. What do you want now? I was just wondering about my performance review. Yeah, what about it? Uh, I've never had one. So? Gee, Mr. Birnbaum, Stella said you give her a raise every three months. I get one every day. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, nothing, Ness. All right, just a minute. Miss Hart, could you bring in the personnel file for this young fella, please? Oh my goodness, those are some big eyes. You sneaky devil. Got him while he wasn't looking. I mean, while he was looking. Come on, let's walk. See, look, now we're getting full frames here, but in that other screen, we weren't. It's weird. <clears throat> Unlock door. Your heart flutters at the sound of the unlocking mechanism. Normally, an equipment room is filled with valuable video technology requiring experience and expertise to operate. This one, however, is almost empty. Just a couple of shelves, a desk, and a toolbox. Toolbox. Inside the toolbox is a reporter's ID. Get ID. <clears throat> Taken. All right. Let's, uh, Let's save again. <laughs> Looks like Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> kind of. I assume we're in the basement. Oh, okay, it's loading. You suddenly remember that your original lunch plans had included picking up some spare parts. Now, what was that price? What? What just happened? If that was copy protection, I don't know. They must just skip past it. I 
Station Will's rear entrance. Too bad that it's been months since a potential client passed through it. Looks like Dave the guard has managed to adapt to the pace. Why am I a different color now? The little Z's mean that he's sleeping. So this walkthrough is telling me to look at the dream. The following dream sequence may contain some material deemed unsuitable for all family members. As you and said sequence is not necessary for successful completion of the game, parental guidance is suggested. Well, we're watching it. Okay, brace yourselves. I'm gonna get kicked off Twitch here. Baby, you made me wish I had three hands. It's a train into a tunnel. Yikes. There it is. Was that Larry Laffer? I think that was Larry Laffer with the cross throat. Pretty sure that was a Leisure Suit Larry reference. I, I'm just doing what the walkthroughs tell me to do here. Get Dream of Size. Yeah, I don't know what that means. All right. Um, hey, Ben, you got here just in time? Okay, it's telling me to go to the circus. After the quiet of your office, the bright lights and busy streets of the Big Apple are a welcome change. Looks like a great place to begin a quest. Oh, there's the circus. The strains of organ music and the scents of popcorn and wild animals drift from over the fence. Either the circus is in town or next year's election campaigns have begun early. Uh -huh. Oh, this poor light is dying. <laughs> ben, that wasn't creepy at all. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, step right up and see the greatest show on disc.
Mm-hmm. I mean, there's one over in front of the tent. Difficult. They're really going for it with the music. Yeah, I'm in a lion show or something. I'm not staying here. Parking lot? There's too much going on in this scene. Oh, there, look, there's the trailer. All right. Um, it's okay so far. It, it, it's running like crap. Just too bad. Stoss box, I guess, is the problem, but. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so let's knock on door. Faint sound of a zipper. I'm coming. Less, just a cotton pick a minute. Hey, how did he know your name? Maybe he has his own hint book. Talk to man. Or, excuse me. Boy, I say, but oh wow, it's Foghorn Leghorn. I'm a busy man. Yes, sirree, Bob. No time to sit here, John, with you, boy. Uh, ask for a job. Said to Colonel Bob. Gee, sir, uh, Colonel, I'd really like to see some more of your circus. Boy, I say, boy, I sure could use some hip cleaning up around them dark critters. <laughs> I'd be happy to give it a try. <laughs> I think I just need to clean up my virtual memory, Ben. Okay, y'all do a real good job, and I suppose I can get y'all a free ticket. Gee, thanks. Why didn't I shoot him? You can't do this to me. I'm an American. <laughs> oh, I hear warm hugs. Oh, thank you, Lactose. I don't think you're in here. That's his standard monthly donation. Man, 25 or 10, 5, 7, 4. Oh, you are in here. Thank you, man. And I wanted to say again, we had some good racing going on on uh, Friday night. Especially in the first race. I couldn't keep up with you in the second race, though. All right, we're going to go find some elephants. Oh, good. I was getting tired of uh, not hearing this music. Anyone see any elephants? What are you going on about, Ben? Looks like it could 
has elephants. Maybe not. Ben, tomorrow's Donair Day. I think it's National Donair Day. Somebody should look that up, but I think it's the case. Oh, yes, I know. Sorry, Ben. Well, you know, I mean, if... Lactose and I are tied for second in the championship right now, so... If I wasn't there... Maybe I'll see more with a ticket. Since you don't have any money, getting one may take hard work. Well, there's a pen down there in the bottom right. Maybe that's where I need to go. Something's happening. Uh, what in the world? Come join us, Ben. Oh, Keenad, thank you. Keenad couldn't stand that uh, that point nine. <laughs> I love it. Where do y'all keep the elephants around here? Hey, Alpha. Monsieur Trion. Rating with a party of five. Welcome, welcome. I wonder if the elephants are the other direction. Wow, you actually can't go through there because of the little curb. It's good to know, Keenad. I gotta start giving myself 10 cent donations. Look, the giant elephant butt probably should have given it away. A lot of stuff mounted on the ground there. <clears throat> hey, Closet Ninja. Husky Badonka Donk. Uh, it's possibly unwise to get too close to the hind end of an elephant. Still, the worst the elephants could do is what life does to you every day. It is accolade, but it very clearly seems like, well, my understanding is that it's basically their answer to Leisure Suit Larry, and I'm pretty sure we saw an anti-Leisure Suit Larry image earlier, right around the time we were seeing all the digitized nudity. All right, so let's get the shovel. Get to work. Gross. Somebody worked really hard on this picture of elephants. Not really. <clears throat> this is the backside of Dal Sim stage. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Leisure Suit Larry's Games of Luck kind of suck too. All right, let's see if we've worked enough. Drop shovel. Oh, is that a thing in Kingdom Hearts? I haven't played Kingdom Hearts games so long. Uh, 
Ben, I was getting ready to figure out which systems I'm hooking up to my Sony Vega downstairs today. It was pretty exciting. So busy at work that I didn't get a chance to do it, but still pretty exciting. <clears throat> Said to Colonel Bob, there you go, boy. Y'all done a good job. I've got a ticket now. I believe I've got a ticket. She's got a ticket to ride. Uh, we're going to look around till we find a gypsy wagon. Oh, good. That'd be that wagon I almost walked into about four times. Madam Karmuska? Something Muska. Ball reading and palm jobs. There you go. There's your there's your delicious buns. Zarmuska, traveling home of the infamous that's, uh, is that Madame or Mademoiselle Zermuska? All right, enter wagon. Madame? Okay. How'd the elephants get over there? It looks painful for that lizard or whatever it is. Somebody thought putting that home sweet home sign back there was hilarious. Yes. Uh, ask about fortune. You'll be going on a long journey. I see a search. For turn. Oh, somebody just appeared in the crystal ball. I see a king. Is that supposed to look like King Graham? I think it's supposed to look like King Graham. Thank you, Alpha. Sorry, wrong king. Really gonna keep making me ask this? That was supposed to be King Graham. I see a violent ending. I think I'll be able to spell this after the seventh time. Excuse me. Peace and tranquility. But it ain't over till it's over. The rest is up to you, Les. You didn't tell me anything. Well, now I can't ask a budget for the... Okay. 
The rest is apparently up to me. Touch woman, because apparently that's a thing. Too bad I'm only a dream. Well, that was creepy. Touching the lizard seems to trigger a hidden mechanism. Careful, it's only good once. Titles bearer, that means you less, to one free resurrection. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's white and sticky. Now you're left with a situation you're familiar with. White sticky stuff all over your hands. They really went for that one. Well, I mean, clearly now's the time to clean up and save. It really feels like it, doesn't it? Alright, come on, save. There we go. Alright, exit. Thanks, Happy Canard. Oh yeah, I should mention that uh, that episode goes live for the general public tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern. This spot doesn't look too interesting. What about back here? Yes, sir. It is. Wood pyramid again. World's smallest man. I don't see that here. Look, man. First, be called Helmet. Okay, Helmet is not who I need to speak to right now. I'm looking for someone named Luigi. Oh, wow, Ben. I approve. Now we're at the world's strongest man. Luigi, the world's strongest man, catatonic on stage. If you stay here long enough, maybe he'll blink. It seems that beneath that impressive exterior lies a troubled mind. He sits, clutching his rosin and staring solemnly at the ground. There seems to be a difference between Luigi and his picture. How would you ever figure this out? 
The mustache seems a little different. Why not ask him about it? Said to Luigi, It's a not as a stiff as when I was a young a boy, like a yourself. Well, I've got something white and sticky. Ah, thank you, my sunny boy. Just what I've been looking for. Now I can get on with my show. While Luigi is preoccupied, you quietly slip the rosin into your pocket. Yeah, see, I think I missed something here. This game, this is... Hmm, we'll see what happens. Give dream. That's what I thought so. I'm gonna go back and see if I can get the dream. I'm gonna save this again real quick. I knew I was supposed to get the dream somehow. This music is relentless. Oh, this was definitely pre ASRB. This is 1990. God, I hope not. did not expect to be only this far after halfway through the stream. Come on, baby. Walk. ESRB was definitely not by 1990. <laughs> Exclusive mixer contract. Hmm. Actually, just about now is when they might be interested in me. Yeah. I love that there's shading on him when he walks into the shadow. Like, it's absolutely not necessary in this game, but they did it anyway. See, I'm pretty sure that's Larry Laffer. Get dream. Can't imagine what you want with someone else's dream, but it's yours now. Okay. I keep overshooting everything because of this frame rate's so bad. No, God, I did not fin I did not finish that. I forget what finally ended it for us. I think it was an arcade. It was a swimming sequence or something that I just couldn't deal with. Oh, it was a jet ski sequence.
Come on. Now, a minute ago, this worked. Why isn't it working now? There we go. Yay, now I've got something to look forward to. I think you've made a new friend, Les. Remember, Les, it's not always size that counts. So apparently we're now carrying the world's smallest amount around in our pocket. Perception. Okay, our score just went way up, though. Popcorn. Careful, don't get it stuck between your teeth. That is kind of neat, Ben, you're right. If I eat this, it will just stuck just get stuck between my teeth. I know. I'll just leave it here for the nice kitty. Recognize the star of the show, Daredevil Ordinaire, the world's greatest acrophobic acrobat, acrophobic acrobat, Frederick von Leap, the flying leap. Give rosin to Fred. Fred accepts the rosin, removes his cape, and prepares for his death defying leap. like something Elvis would wear. Get cape. No, I can't do it right now. Oh! I paid to see a ha diving act, and I'm gonna see a ha diving act. I paid my two bits. That's what it was. It's one of my dad's favorite Looney Tunes cartoons. Get cape. I paid my two bits to see a high diving act, and I'm going to see a high diving act. Well, since Fred here probably won't be needing it any longer, I suppose it's okay. It might be four bits. Grave Robin. Is that a is that a Batman reference? Yeah, 
If it's not a Batman reference, it 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 should be. Look at how bad the frame rate gets after you're on the screen for a couple seconds. He animates quite nicely when he's running at a full frame rate. We're in a male helmet. Helmet has been mailed. We just mailed a little person. Seems not okay. so you know. The camera's looking at the doorway to the living room, just so you know. Okay. This walkthrough is telling me to go places like I know where they are, which is pretty funny. Here's the bus to New Jersey. Bet you that bus is empty. Well, look at that, Ben. Did you Did you see that? The puddles have reflection in them. Ben, I expect you to be very excited about this. There's nothing special about the building. Ray tracing. Uh. Hmm. All right. I need to find this place, this person, Bobby's house. Hmm. <laughs> this doesn't seem like a really nice part of town. Maybe this isn't where I'm supposed to be. I can't go out into the street, though. Unless those keys unlock the door. I could just go behind the... No, that's not going to work. I knock. Knock door. Okay. Ding dong. Faint sound of footsteps. If you're who I hope you are, prove it or get lost. Uh, okay. Show ID. Oh, you must be the reporter that I've been expecting. Come on in. She seems to like Elvis. The stale accent of, or the stale scent of man trap eau de toilette thickens the air. Pictures clutter the walls, many with lipstick smudges on the faces.
Since you seem to be getting nowhere fast, you decide to make yourself comfortable. Mind if I have a seat, ma'am? Why, go right ahead, young man. Make yourself comfortable. Ask for soda. Said to Bobby, just a sec, hon. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Um, show scarf. Well, I usually show the scarf to only my closest friends, but I guess it's okay. The sweat stains are still visible. Yikes. Spill soda on scarf. Well, now you've done it, she probably have to wash it. But before she figures out that washing it might remove the magical healing powers, I suggest leaving. Let's, uh, vamoose. Closet Ninja, were you making a pun? Felt like you're making a pun. Scarf's out on the clothesline. What? Recalling the skills you used as a child to peer into neighbors' windows, you prepare to scale this mighty obstacle. Uh-huh. Steel scarf. Now maybe you'll have a chance to put some of your own sweat stains on it. Also gross. Wow. Home keys, Greg. Frame rate just drops like crazy in all these scenes. Wonder if maybe I speed up DOSBox a little bit if that'll fix the problem now that I'm running at a slower speed. It's F10, I think F12. Uh, I can't tell if that's helped or not. Thank God we're back at the circus.
Maybe you should have been more careful where you were going. Wow. Yeah, the Ferris wheel's the problem. Great. Phone's ringing. Following your philosophy of you never know, it might be for me, you decide to pick up the phone and see who it is. Hello? Isn't she the secretary? Stella, why are you calling me way out here in the desert? Remember I said I'd give you a call later? Besides, Steve wanted an excuse to show another picture of me. I assume Steve is the developer or designer? Well, I've got to go now. Good luck with your search. This is bizarre. This game's all about breaking the fourth wall, I guess. Probably, ah, uh, let's, okay, let's see here. Drink water. Open thermos. Drink water. Phew, I'm glad I brought this water to drink. Ah, not only does drinking to quench my thirst and clear my sense of direction, it gives me more points. I'll bet you any money that's on the back of the box. Go look that up, Ben. I'll bet you it's there. Of course, helmet's in the mailbox. Because we mailed helmet. Definitely not 2020. Las Vegas Casino Hotel. How do we enter the hotel? I guess up the stairs? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I'm totally following this. I don't know why I know who this is. Bernardo finally gives in to your persistent nagging. He picks up the phone and relays your request to the hotel operator. Mr. Fabulous, white courtesy telephone, please. That must have been just who walked by. <laughs> he may be fabulous, but there's only one king, and according to Lila Libido, he's not half the man the king was, uh, is. Uh, well, you get the idea. Okay, I'm trying to find the pool here, which is definitely not where you'd run into the Player One podcast, guys. Must be out back. Always hard to tell when the when we get a screen transition happening. There we go. Sit on chair, fool. After taking a seat next to this gorgeous creature, she finally seems ready to acknowledge your existence. I didn't know we knew each other. There you go. That was definitely a spread in a magazine somewhere. Got to do something to relax. Found that fast, Keenad. Gee, now you've got some cool shades just like the ones he used to wear. So we're just going to impersonate the king by the end of the game, right? Is that that's what's happening? the amount of points in the game. So we're not finishing this tonight. Go that way. Was Joey taking a bath? <laughs> hmm, we are in a typical room. Sitting in the bathroom sink is dental floss.
from here? No, not from here. How do I get into the bathroom? There we go. Now all you need is earwax remover and nose hair clippers. Fun. Sorry. Not really, don't waste your time looking. That's nice. There's a sign hanging on the door. Look at sign. I did, Alpha. I haven't even turned it on yet. Um, I don't know where I would put it. No disturbo, por favor. Yes, Alpha, that would have been nice. I bought another sign like that previous or recently at um, the source earlier this year. And it's the same thing. It's great, but uh, like it's mostly empty and a little door to hold all the letters would have been a nice touch. Reverse sign. Okay, wait a minute here. Apparently I will... Okay. Reverse sign, look sign, Mado service por favor. God's sake. Oops, now you've created extra work for the maid. There we go. Okay. Look in cart. Sitting on the maid's cart are a supply of towels, a supply of soap, disinfectant, and a skeleton key. Get skeleton key. Maid seems upset. I I I take that, you get me fire. Okay, so we had to wait till she wasn't looking. With the stealth of a panther, you snatch the key from the maid's cart. Yeah, no kidding, Ben.
Okay. Having acquired the hotel skeleton key, you're now able to go to places henceforth unreachable. Henceforth. Goodness gracious. The headliner suite. Someone obviously spent a fortune at Pier 1 Imports. Interesting. It's fourth unreasonable. Uh, that's great. quite a tub wow what a great place to relax and have some Bosco look inside but besides the drain it's squeaky clean not a hair in sight it's not like a chocolate milk type of mix it's probably there to let water out the only reason I even know the name of that is because of uh, George Costanza because that was Bosco was his uh, his debit card password After you extract the final length of floss from the container, you gently tie one end around the waist of the world's smallest man, being careful not to pull too tight, thus severing him in two. Really, Keenan. Really. Interesting. Oh, for God's sake. I guess not from here. Where then? Helmet is pretty small. That is also a tiny receipt. Which, by the way, that's a receipt that we're getting. <laughs> Helmet has returned. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Look receipt. Oh, I didn't see what it said there. He brought a receipt. Look receipt. Hotel cleaners, February 6th, 1972. Apparel, white suit, quantity one, price $19.95. 1972. <laughs> that ruled. <laughs> Get floss. Done. We all know where we're going next. We've walked by the dry cleaners twice so far. Thank you. 
Hello, Susie. Looks like she's supposed to be saying something. Anyway. Show received. The clerk pays little attention to the fact that you've just shown her a sheet almost 20 years old. She goes in the back and brings out a gold-laced white jumpsuit worthy of a king. That is pretty great. Uh, look suit. Upon closer examination, you notice that it was sewn with expandable elastic seams. Get suit. Well, since you had the receipt, it must be your suit. Thanks, Susie. We're really close to the end of this game. At least it seems like we're really close to the end of this game. Although Lester's aware of the danger involved with getting into a stranger's car, he knows he is safe since this is only a simulation. How would you know to do this? Desert bus. Really going into Mexico a lot, though. I assume this is Graceland. He doesn't know. Well, he does know, because it said he knows. I wonder if they were smoking weed in there. get in there just yet. We're looking for Red's Bar. That sure looks like a helipad over there. Restaurants. Alright, well let's go over here. That's got a red front door. building that seemed to work in the enter enter a bar oh for Christ's sake <laughs> enter restaurant uh-huh did that work no don't know how to get into anything. <sighs> hmm. This spot isn't too interesting. No, no it isn't. I was going to go for it, but now I kind of want to stop because I don't want to spend the next 45 minutes wrestling with this. Let's save this anyway. Oh, I, already, I just did save it. Where's the babbages? Phone booth? Where is it? Oh, let's go to the telephone. I 
can't get over there. Grr. Boy, this is just falling apart all of a sudden. I don't know how to enter any buildings. <laughs> uh, enter. Enter building. Oh my god. Gift shop. Oh, I did something. Good lord. Enter this building. Right here. Stepping into a nearby phone booth, you slip on the cool shades, zip up the sequined white suit, wrap the silk scarf around your neck, adjust the majestic cape over your shoulders, and attempt to not look too ridiculous. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Celebrity look like contest. Well, we got to dance. All right, last it's finally here. The big chance. Your mind races back to those those days spent studying freeze frame stills of dance fever. You decide to pull out all the stops, not hold anything back. Give them the whole nine yards. From now on, you're a lean, mean dancing machine. Oh my god. That was absolutely a Pee Wee Herman dance. Thank you very much. And thank you much, contestant number one. Well, folks, even though we've only seen one contestant, I think we all know what the outcome will be. Here it comes, Lester, big break. Last place has been locked up by Lester P. Manley. I don't know what we accomplished there. Well, Les, at least you didn't come away empty-handed. As a consolation prize, the gates to the kingdom have been opened especially for you. I like this little icon has changed. It's a nice touch. Oh yeah, I can't get out this way. This is weirdly specific how you have to move around this map. It moves really slow north and south. Suspense is killing me. Sweeping spiral staircase, imported marble floor. This room screams of large injections of money. Pretty fancy for a down-home southern boy. Take the chopper. Go now. Get to the chopper. I just watched Predator recently. God, such a great movie. 
look in bear mouth. Mm, look at rug. Don't worry, it's imitation. Wouldn't want to offend anybody. Look inside bear mouth. Ah. Look in mouth. Inside the bear's mouth is a switch. Lower helmet in mouth. I guess not from here. Where do you want me to be? This looks like another job for Helmet Bean, the world's smallest man. Oh, we're going to get a little animation again? accomplished the alarm is now deactivated thank god because I didn't even know there was an alarm it says to walk left to the awards room but that room to the right sure looks like the awards room to me oh don't go outside fool All the gold, plaques, awards, and other reminders of a stellar career are enshrined here for viewing by the public. Get guitar. No, of course not from here. Why would it be that easy? Using the length of floss that proves so valuable in getting you this far, you replace the broken string. Wow, it's not really fixed. But then again, you can't really play. Don't worry, it will do for now. Okay, now what do I need? Get microphone. Maybe you can lip sync. Triple A Crunch. Yeah, that's what I think of when I think of this game. Looking for a dining room. This is a dining room. Gee, they're not all wax. Get banana. Taken. So I have to go to the king's bedroom. I assume that's upstairs. I've been to Graceland. Has anyone else been to Graceland? Don't remember much of it. Wow. Playing hide the banana in the king's bedroom. I don't remember much of it because I was pretty young. I super getting peanut butter. Didn't Elvis Presley love peanut butter and banana sandwiches? Wasn't that his thing? Whoa. 
Hello. It is just an Eggo Waffle, you're right. Uh, that's great. The king pole is faster down than up. Must have looked at the back of the box. We... We're not going to see an animation, though? There we go. Oh, it's an old diner. Look at that. It's pretty great. Nice swing. Got to get off the pole sometime. Let go of pole. Release pole. I'm a big peanut butter banana fan myself, but I, I want to say that he like famously liked that kind of that that kind of sandwich. I think. Maybe not famously. Maybe I was wrong. We got bread from somewhere. I don't know where it was, but we got it. Spread butter on bread. You neatly arrange the ingredients. Soon your mouth begins to water like a Pavlovian dog in anticipation of the feast that awaits you. Wow, we're going to animate it, are we? Okay. Cool. Oh, it's going to wait for me to do the rest of this, I guess. Oh, no, there it goes. Just takes a while. Fun fact, this is what I have every morning for breakfast. Toast, peanut butter, and banana. I don't know if it's healthy, but this is what I have. Oh man, we're eating it. Oh my god, look how fat we've gotten. This is hitting a little too close to home. Keenad, I looked at that, and for you and I, that would be 50 bucks a magazine. After uh, converting to Canadian and the X number of dollars to, uh, to ship, 50 bucks, 48 something. It was, it's a good idea. Good for them. I'm glad they're doing something with those magazines. Yes, very cool for the Americans. Look at the size of them. Uh, that's great. Especially because I feel like they, they... Like, all the preservation they're doing is great, but it seems like unless you're right there near them, it doesn't do you any good. They need an online database. Badly. No, I don't have an in with Frank. Frank, Frank, I don't think I'm important enough for Frank to talk to. Yeah, maybe. To be honest, most of the magazines that I need or want, I can get on Retro Mags. How did I get into this bar before?
All right, let's see here. Holiday 2000. That was the first year in review I worked on at EGM. Okay, it's time to rock and roll. guitar went and he's still going nice yeah what sweat off your brow nice So anyone remembers in the 80s and 90s, there was always this whole thing about the about Elvis still being alive. They trampled him. They killed him. Now he's really going to meet the king. Is that Jimi Hendrix back there? That's Jimi Hendrix back there. Is that Janis Joplin near the front? I don't recognize all these people. That Was that two Beatles? I think that was... I think that was... George... No, George didn't die until much later, right? I think it was two Beatles, though. What year did George Harrison die? Welcome back, Les. We thought we'd lost you there for a while. Roy Orbison? No, Roy Orbison was still alive in the 90s, wasn't he? Sure, one of them was Marilyn Monroe. Les did figure out a way for the station to pay off on the contest, and now after taking over as owner, president, and CEO of Will, he's turned it into the highest rated station in the country. The stunning Stella Hart still works for the station, but now she's Les' personal assistant in charge of raises. I'm pretty sure Buddy Holly was in there too. I think he was in the back. Colonel Bob sold controlling interest in his circus to an entertainment software company that wanted to diversify. He now manages his own chain of SNLs. Angelina Zarmuska was sucked into the spirit world during a particularly intense ball reading session. She's racked up a small fortune channeling mortals. Helmet Bean, after several close encounters with some adventuresome southern bells, did prove that dreams do come true. He signed on as a spokesman for the leading breakfast cereal company and is now the host of his own talk show. Mr. Fabulous never did get that call from his agent and quickly fell into showbiz obscurity. He spends most of his working day asking, did you want cheese on that burger? 
I don't remember Vito. Vito gave up his life of crime and now spends his time playing Nintendo. Bobby finally realized that her obsession with the king was absurd. She now lives in a small commune in Arizona, awaiting the arrival, the arrival of a Venusian space transport. Lila Libido is tanning. Okay. There you go. That was Less Manly in Search for the King. Nintendo Vito. So we went a little bit long tonight. Ha ha ha. Uh, yeah, there's a sequel. Lost in LA, I think it's called. We'll get to that eventually. That was it. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. I'm going to get going here real quick. Um, really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed that. That was an interesting experience. Um, hang on a sec here. Yep, they're on good old games. That's what I was playing on. Um, so tomorrow night, Landstalker. And remember, tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, the next episode of uh, Generation 16 premieres. 8 o'clock Eastern, Pyramid Patrol for the Laser Active. Please be there. Come hang out. Watch it. It's about 20 minutes long. Hope to see you there. Have a great evening. Good night. Listen up, mister. And you too, sister. Let's talk about something that's a real brain twister. Drugs, drugs, drugs. We are good. We are bad. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Ask your mom or ask your dad. Drink a little water. Take the doctor's pill. Drugs can make you better when you're feeling ill. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Push your good, push your bad. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Ask your mama, ask your dad. There's lots of other drugs that sure have a flaw. Watch it now, man. It's trouble with the law. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Push your good, push your bad. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Ask your mama, ask your dad. We're trying to, we're trying to, just, 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 ask your mama.